I would say that uh, I started my life wanting to be in academia. As a child, I have always uh, you know, been very interested in studying and I've always uh, believed that doing well in school, you know, scoring all the A's was the most important uh, part of my life. The, my first job was in the Singapore University, what we call today the National University of Singapore. And I've stayed in the university, NUS, for 15 years. I've never any plans to leave the university. And unfortunately, my father passed away in the late 80s. You know? I was asked by my uncle and my siblings and my cousins to be part of a team with Hongbi to prepare a new strategic initiative for the next generation. So I've done my job in five years. I was part of the team that did the strategy development and business transformation. And after that, I thought I'll go back to the university. But in 1998, we had the Asia financial crisis. So a group of doctors, including my husband, started a Ballastia Medical Center, and they were doing very well. And in 1998, they were saying, let's do something different. So they say, why don't you come up with a, you know, a, a strategic plan? I say, if you want me involved, yes, you know, I'll be quite happy to be involved. But let's now go regional. And that was when we started a new company called HMI, which is Health Management International Limited. And as the name says, we are going regional. There were opportunities for acquisition of hospitals. And the first one that came up was Makota Medical Centre in Malacca. Moving it away from a hospital that looked at the internal customers and transform it to be a, a more outward-looking hospital and starting the medical tourism. So when an opportunity came, we were able to acquire another hospital building in Johor. And we started a soft launch in the year 2008 an official launch again in 2009. In Singapore, we have uh, transformed what was then the Ballester Medical Centre into a training institute. And, and that centre focused on training people who are interested for a career in healthcare. And my advice to entrepreneurs, given my own experience, is that during good times, you do not invest unnecessarily because when the bad times come, you need to have enough bullets to, to, to ride over the difficult times. And my belief has always been, you work hard and you do your best. At every decision point, you try your best. If it fails, then what you need to do is to pat yourself on the back and say, let's move on. Because you don't live for the past, you live for tomorrow and tomorrow will be a better day. There are more challenges and more opportunities ahead.